guys, this is Adversary here again. Basically, I just lo uploaded a commentary yesterday. I'm recording this on the 21st of September. There are a few things I wanted to talk about before they escaped my mind. Um, first of them being Modern Warfare 3, that me and my friend looks like we're going to pitch half and half in to when uh, Modern Warfare 3 comes out in early November. And see how that game goes in terms of uh, just the gameplay pretty much overall. It's only campaign, but a lot of the multiplayer. And see if... Uh, uh, if, if you guys like it by the time I upload stuff, if you haven't bought it yet, to see if it's worth your money or not. Uh, I think it's it's got a, it looks pretty good. It looks like Modern Warfare 2 all over again, which is what I'm gonna like with the quick scoping and kill streaks and whatnot. Uh, perks perks in the kill system a little bit different, but uh, gameplay wise, um, action wise especially, it's gonna look pretty fast paced again. And so I think the Modern Warfare 2 fans will like it. Probably the other Call of Duty fans will most like it for the most part. The Black Ops fans, if any of those exist or ever existed, probably won't like it a whole lot. Because of especially sniping, I didn't realize how many people hated quick scoping. I found that out via messages a lot. But anyways, um, so yeah, I'll be looking out early November. Um, hopefully get some gameplay up there pretty quickly. If it's uh, try to get something that's pretty good, but also try to get something out there pretty. Uh, soon after the game comes out. Um, on to the next uh, subject. Mainly, I wanted to talk about is um, have full tilt poker.net. Some of you know I'm a huge poker fan. Play it almost every day online or in real life. Um, it was released yesterday. That full tilt poker was one giant Ponzi scheme where the managers and CEOs and whatnot took uh, online players' money, the money they used to put. Uh, to buy in for tournaments to get actual legit money. Uh, they use their money to pay off their workers and stuff over $440 million worth and it was just found out about that not not too long ago. There are some huge names out there that were um, getting money from it, tens of millions of dollars. And so the sites were shut down, uh, not just Full Tilt Poker but other main sites too, most of them. Uh, the shutdown, at least for the United States, it, it looks like they're still legal worldwide outside of the United States, which sucks. But, um, so they were shut down mid June, so that was, it, it was annoying, it affected me because I played it like a, a whole lot. I played tournaments, not for legit money, because I didn't turn 18 until mid July, this past mid July. And people were telling me from day one, you know, Full Tilt Poker is rigged, don't play it, and now looking back at it, it seems more and more true with all the BS hands that won and whatnot. Basically, we're going to see what I do with my time from that. I just want to talk about it because it really pissed me off because I'm a huge poker fan. I love poker since I was like 15, 14 years old. But um, we'll see. I, <laughs> probably now that I'm in college, so the projects and tests will start building up and I'm going to a lot more time that I used to pl use to poke and video games to cover it up with good old college work. But uh, that's about it. Nice 30 and 3 gameplay in Afghan against some noobs of the intervention. So hope you guys give it a like. And until next time, this has been Adversary. And I'm out. Peace!